DNA is a very complex molecule. DNA is present in all nucleated cells and it contains the blueprint for life. Uh, it's what essentially makes a horse into a horse, a human into a human. Here we are at the Veterinary Genetics Laboratory on the campus of the University of California at Davis. This is the place where your horse's hair goes from looking like this to this. And it all begins when your envelope shows up in the mail. We have been in the forefront of uh, using DNA testing um, in animals. Um, we started uh, developing uh, testing routines way back in the early 90s. And we were the first lab to offer DNA tests uh, in North America, certainly. So we perceived that that was the way that uh, genetic testing for parentage, for example, would go. About 10 years ago, the only test for verifying a horse's parentage was to have a vet take a blood sample. But now, thanks to advances in science, all we need to do is pull a few mane hairs from above the withers. And now let's follow your horse's hair as it enters the lab. First, a lab technician scans every envelope into the computer system. The AQHA has already entered your horse's name, registration number, sex, birth date, and listed parentage into the computer's database. The samples are clustered into groups and then delivered to the hair cutters. The hair samples are then cut into strip tubes according to a computer-generated map. The samples are then ready to be delivered into the front lab for digestion and PCR amplification. That's PCR, polymerase chain reaction. Sounds impressive, huh? The front lab is where the magic happens. The hair receives a buffer and is incubated to digest out DNA. The digested samples are then put into two different plates where they're amplified to produce copies of the parts of interest. The samples are brought over to the lab's cutting edge 3730 DNA analyzer. A laser inside the machine excites the molecule, captures the signal, and turns your horse's hair into a computer image. Scientists in the lab can now view a sample section of your horse's DNA and compare it to the stallion and mare to verify correct parentage. This process is extremely accurate. Even if someone sends in the wrong sample, this process will immediately identify the mistake. But this test is only for determining parentage. The UC Davis lab is not mapping your horse's entire genome, but rather looking at a very small sample of your horse's DNA. So don't worry, here at the University of California at Davis, your horse's hair is in good hands.